Are you ready for a quick trivia? Okay, which of the following ones is the oldest cryptocurrency? Is it A, Big Gold, B, Hash Cash, C, E Cash, or D, Bitcoin? All right, lock in your answer. If you pick D, Bitcoin, you're absolutely wrong. That's right, there were some cryptocurrencies that came before Bitcoin, so make sure to watch the whole video to find out what they were. But first, let's dive into the four oldest cryptocurrencies launched after Bitcoin, starting with the popular meme coin, Dogecoin. In 2013, somewhere in Sydney, Australia, Jackson Palmer founded Dogecoin as a joke to satirize the hype behind cryptocurrencies. Palmer joked online about launching a new coin and he got some replies encouraging him to pursue the idea, which led him to buy the domain dogecoin.com. Meanwhile, in Portland, Billy Marcus, a software engineer, was working at IBM at the time and had thoughts about creating a digital currency. He stumbled across dogecoin.com and contacted Jackson for a chance to work on the project. Now, a little more than a week after Palmer's joke tweet, Dogecoin was launched. Now, though it started out as a joke, Doge has remained within or close to the top largest 10 cryptos by market cap all its life and currently sits at eight. Here's a fun fact. Dogecoin's community has raised money in the past to help solve Kenya's water crisis and even help Jamaica's bobsleigh team attend the Winter Olympic Games in 2014 with $30,000 in donations. Next, we have Ripple, which launched in 2012 with the goal of integrating with and improving the current traditional banking system, especially in payment settlement and remittance. If you have ever made cross-border payments or have been on the receiving end, you know that it takes three days to even a whole week because so many entities are involved in a single transaction. And this is usually through a payment system used by financial institutions, such as the Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunication, or as most of you know it, SWIFT. Ripple hopes to replace SWIFT by offering faster and cheaper transactions. The project is a decade old and currently the sixth largest cryptocurrency by market cap. Here's a fun fact, XRP has an ongoing legal battle with the US Securities and Exchange Commission that has lasted for about two years and may finally be coming closer to a resolution. Next, we have the first cryptocurrency to use a combination of proof of stake and proof of work consensus algorithms, which is Peercoin. So Peercoin was created by the software developers Sunny King and Scott Nadal as the first altcoin to target the issue of Bitcoin's high energy consumption. At its peak, Peercoin was seen as a potential rival to Bitcoin. However, despite its promising start, it no longer ranks on the list of top coins and currently has a market cap of around 13 million. Fun fact, in 2013, Peercoin was the fourth largest cryptocurrency in terms of market capitalization only behind Bitcoin, Litecoin and Ripple. Moving further back to 2011, the so-called silver to Bitcoin's gold, Litecoin was launched. Created by Charlie Lee, a former Google engineer, Litecoin is considered to be among the first altcoins derived from Bitcoin's original open source code. Lee engineered Litecoin to be used for fast, secure, and low-cost payments. That's why the block generation time for Litecoin is four times faster. Instead of 10 minutes, it only takes two and a half minutes per block. Another notable difference from Bitcoin is the supply. While Bitcoin is capped at a maximum supply of 21 million coins, Litecoin is capped at 84 million coins. Litecoin is currently on the top 30 cryptocurrencies list with a market cap of over 3.9 billion. Another fun fact, in 2017, Litecoin's creator, Charlie Lee, sparked controversy after he sold his stake in Litecoin, citing a conflict of interest. These projects came after Bitcoin's 2009 launch, but as we mentioned, there are cryptocurrencies 
older than Bitcoin. So let's now explore the pre-Bitcoin age of crypto. So going way back to the late 90s, Adam Back, a cryptographer, created Hashcash, whose technology has become an important part of what is today known as Bitcoin mining. Adam's Hashcash refers to a proof of work system meant to limit email spamming and DDoS attacks. Bitcoin's creator Satoshi Nakamoto even mentioned the project in his white paper where he stated to implement a distributed timestamp server on a peer-to-peer -peer basis, we will need to use a proof of work system similar to Adam Back's Hashcash rather than newspaper or Usenet posts. However, like many crypto projects in the 90s, Hashcash fizzled out. Still, its proof of work provided a new foundation for digital currency research from which projects like Bitcoin benefited. Moving further back to the mid 90s, Dr. Douglas Jackson and Barry Downey created eGold, electronic money that was tied to the possession of gold. The eGold system of facilitating payment in gold turned into a great success, registering billions of dollars worth of business. Despite that, the venture was plagued with setbacks, the biggest one being unintentionally becoming a tool for money launderers and bad actors seeking anonymity in their illegal activities. Now, authorities took notice and went after Jackson, the founder, and ultimately extracted a guilty plea for conspiring in an unlicensed money transmitting business. Eagle still technically remains in business today, but is no longer accepting new accounts or transfers of Eagle from user to user. Okay, before we reveal the first ever cryptocurrency, there are some instrumental projects that were proposed but never launched. This includes B Money, proposed by Wei Dai, to create an anonymous distributed electronic cash system. Also, in the late 90s, Nick Sabo proposed Bitgold, a currency that shared many features with Bitcoin, such as using a peer-to-peer -peer network, mining, a ledger, and cryptography. All right, now on to the oldest cryptocurrency, eCash, created by Dr. David Chaum under his company DigiCash in 1990. Chaum's proposal for eCash came almost a decade earlier before the internet was even available for public use. So he envisioned a currency that could be transferred between individuals safely and privately. David put his concept into practice, creating the first cryptographic electronic money. Now, eCash gained a lot of traction briefly before filing for bankruptcy in 1998. Nevertheless, the concepts put forward by DigiCash played an important role in developing later digital currencies. So there you have it. Those were some of the oldest cryptocurrencies launched before and after Bitcoin. Did we miss any? Well, let us know in the comments. And if you want to see how crypto as we know it today has evolved from David Chaum's eCash, watch this video.